how civilizations perished. Why was the border guard so thin? Did the Romans not notice that their way of life was changing forever? Thomas Cahill. Civilizations die from suicide, not by murder. Arnold Toynbee. Civilizations, Arnold Toynbee believed, arose when creative minorities devised solutions to the great crisis of the age. They perished when they failed to resolve that crisis. After the collapse of the Roman Empire and the barbarian invasions, Toynbee concluded, the Catholic Church had solved the crisis of the age, disunity, and chaos. It had done so by creating a new religious community, out of which grew a new civilization and a new culture. Thus began the history of Christendom. From the 15th to the 20th centuries, the West wrote the history of the world. Out of the Christian countries of Europe came the explorers, the missionaries, the conquerors, the colonizers, who, by the 20th century, ruled virtually the entire earth. But the passing of the West had already begun. Spain's empire was the first to fall. America delivered the coup de grace in 1898. But it was the Thirty Years' War of 1914 to 1945, the great civil war of Western civilization that inflicted the mortal wounds. By 1918, the German, Austro-Hungarian, and Russian empires had collapsed. World War II bled and broke the British and French. One by one, after war's end, the strategic outposts of Western Empire, Suez, the Canal Zone, Rhodesia, South Africa, Hong Kong, began to fall. Within three decades, Europe's headlong retreat from Asia and Africa was complete. From 1989 to 1991, the Soviet Empire fell and the Soviet Union split into 15 pieces, half a dozen of the Muslim nations that had never before existed. Now the African, Asian, Islamic, and Hispanic peoples that the West once ruled are coming to repopulate the mother countries. By the Toynbean concept of challenge and response— The crisis of Western civilization consists of three imminent and mortal perils. Dying populations, disintegrating cultures, and invasions unresisted. History repeats itself. After the Roman Republic spread out from the town on the Tiber to rule Italy and the Middle Sea of Earth, from Spain to Jerusalem, from Carthage to Hadrian's Wall, the conquered peoples made their way to the imperial capital. Rome became a polyglot city of all the creeds and cultures of the empire. But these alien peoples brought with them no reverence for Roman gods, no respect for Roman tradition, no love of Roman culture. And so, as Rome had conquered the barbarians, the barbarians conquered Rome. In the 5th century, beginning with Alaric and the Visigoths in 410, the northern tribes, one after another, invaded and sacked the Eternal City and the Dark Ages descended. And as Rome passed away, so the West is passing away, from the same causes and in much the same way. What the Danube and Rhine were to Rome, the Rio Grande and Mediterranean are to America and Europe, the frontiers of a civilization no longer defended.'"